Hey guys, it's Ozzy Reptiles here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tour slash update, I guess, on my reptiles, or at least some of them, and some that you guys haven't seen yet. I've got a few new additions which I haven't done a video on, or at least I think I haven't done a video on, uh, but we're gonna get into that. Uh, but for now, let's go along, take an update of the Aussie Reptiles collection. I have been requested so many times to do another update video. I just haven't had the time. I've been working a lot. Um, so let's jump into it. And uh, yes, hopefully you guys enjoy it. We'll catch you guys in a second. Okay guys, so you're just gonna have to ignore the slight floor mess. Um, we've recently had some stuff being moved around so everything's a little bit messy. Uh, but we'll start here with this top enclosure. For you guys that have been subscribed before, you guys know how these enclosures work. I made them, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have ET. ET is just a, a Queensland locality, um, Eastern Blue Tongue, uh, and we also have Rango. They've sort of switched roles here. Normally, Rango is the one out and about, and normally the Blue Tongue is the one that is hiding, but we have Rango hidden up in there. Um, okay, so yes, these two do live together. They do not have any issues. That being said, they could always definitely have issues. I do not recommend it, um, at least if you know what you're doing I guess you could do it uh, you have to know the personalities of both the animals I wouldn't go just buying a blue tongue and a bit of dragon and shoving them together straight away wouldn't recommend it these two get along perfectly fine never had any issues and it's been years of them being together so that's ET and that is Rango all right so then if we move down to this next enclosure once again slipping up the locks and then we use this latch and lock that in place. So this one here, we have these two fellas here. These are shinglebacks or bobtails or sleepy tails or sleepy lizards or pinecone lizards or buckheads. They have thousands of names, quite literally. Uh, well, not thousands, but they have a lot of names. Uh, and these guys live in here. They have this enclosure. We also have, this is Midnight. She's a, a head hypermelanistic uh, eastern Cross Kimberly Bloodline Blue Tongue. So they're in this tank. Um, and yeah, the, the pine cones or shinglebacks. Shinglebacks is usually what we call them, uh, or stumpies. Uh, absolutely awesome. And that is that enclosure. Okay, next enclosure down, we have Citrus. Citrus is a female juvenile uh, central bit dragon. Hopefully, will be maybe possibly a future breeder uh not too sure right now i just consider the bit of dragons as pets i've sort of retired them from breeding citrus has had a bit of an upgrade she was in a three foot tank previously now she's in a four foot tank but that is citrus and that is her enclosure okay now we have this four bay enclosure i'll just go through all of these in the one set uh this tank i have to reinstall the lights literally the other day i accidentally uh basically i was cleaning it out and i smacked them and the fittings fell off uh those wires are not live so you don't have to worry about them uh possibly hurting the lizards or anything have this bay enclosure this top tank is tiger and his wannabe girlfriend that I want him to breed with. So Tiger is my yellow eastern blue tongue. He is a Brisbane locality. You guys will see more of him in TC Houston's video. When that finally drops, it may be quite a while before then because he has filmed a lot on his Australian tour. Um, uh, I was just mentioning before the camera actually cut out, the light fittings are not attached at the moment, I do have to rewire them. Literally yesterday, I accidentally smacked them out. Um, I was cleaning the cage, making it look all good, and I hit them and they dropped. Obviously the globe shattered, the UV and the heat light shattered, and uh, now I don't have them. They're not live, so the lizards are not in any harm of being electrocuted or anything like that. But that is that enclosure. The next one below has this fella here, well this lady I should say. Uh, and she is a white northern, um, coming up to a year old, a um, little bit on the smaller side than I'd like, but she's a bit of a picky eater, but, uh, that's, that's her, and then we go down here, in this one, this one's only temporary, these guys are meant to be outside, oops, both sides are locked, these guys are usually outside, it's just been a little bit colder, uh, or extremely hot the other day. Uh, these are just three normal eastern 
blue tongue lizards. Uh, not sure on the localities or anything like that. I'm pretty sure this one here, that's a Vic. The other two, no idea. But this is their enclosure. Again, a little bit small. It's a three foot tank. So it's a little bit small for all three of them, but it's only temporary for the moment. And again, they're all fine. They've lived together always. So there's no attacking, no fighting or anything. Just a little bit smaller than I'd like, unfortunately. I'll pop that down. And then I'll just sit on the floor in here. Just a regular Darwin. Blue tongue lizard, northern, I should say. Uh, and then that's him in there. So that's that, and uh, now we'll move on to the next set of animals. All right, so next animal I'm being in, it's a little bit easier, there, there's three of them, they're a little bit hard to control. Next we have these guys, I'll do some b-roll footage of these so you can actually see what they are. Uh, obviously they're blue tongues, these are coming up to, what is it, two months old, um, and they are Tasmanian blotched blue tongues. So Taliqua nigra lutea, um, and they are basically the lowest form of, well they are, they're the lowest form of Taliqua um, that you'll find in the world um, coming from Tasmania. So these guys are quite rare in the mainland of Australia. I mean a few people have them but they're not sort of out there as much as your normal lowland blotch blue tongues or your eastern blue tongues or something like that. So these guys are really awesome. I was very very lucky to get these um, and I've wanted them for ages so as soon as they were available I did not pass them up. Okay, so this part's not entirely reptile related. Well, it's not reptile related, uh, this specific tank. This is a two foot um, tank. It's, a, it's an aquarium. Uh, I've got a heap of moss growing, uh, lots of moss, and a few rarer plants, uh, some that <laughs> need to be replanted. I've got some cardamine and a few other things in here as well. Uh, but what this tank is, this tank is one of my shrimp breeder tank. So it's got a few, Blue bolts, these are blue bolt shrimp here. These are, uh, I guess, a uh, rarer sort of shrimp. Um, not as sort of common in the hobby. Um, and we've also got cherry shrimp. So right here you can see some blue dreams, which are blue cherry shrimp. We've got some yellow cherries and red cherries right there as well. Um, I'll come back and film a little bit more of these in a sec. I'll drop some food in. Uh, and once the food's in there, then they go crazy. You can see at the back there, maybe you can see it. That little one right there, that's a little baby shrimp. So there's probably close to uh, 150 shrimp in here. We've got about probably 40 of the blue cherries. There's only a few yellow cherries, I'd say maybe 10. There's about 10 blue bolt shrimp. Um, and there is the, uh, about probably almost close to 80 or so red cherry shrimp in there. Um, look, you can see here, I mean, we've got one carrying eggs right there. That's what those yellow bits are, and there's a few more blues, and a whole lot of other ones back there as well. But that's that tank. We come up above that, we have, where are they all? Hiding. We'll take off the lid so you can see. So this is my spotted marsh frog tank. So for you sort of sort of subscribe and watch my videos, we know that we have both regular spotted marsh frogs and uh, we have the albino spotted marsh frogs. So, oh, that little fella is hiding under there now. So, yes, we've got the spotted marsh frogs. They are awesome. Um, I love them. There is a few in here which I've actually produced myself. So there's a few tiny little albino ones and there's a few uh, tiny little regular ones as well. Uh, so their setup's really simple. Just a pile of wood bark, obviously water, a pump, keep it from going stagnant and a few other plants as well. That's them. Okay, here we have two hatchling juvenile Easter mortar dragons. These guys will go live outside with, oh, there goes the dog. These guys will live outside with my two adults once they're a little bit bigger. And uh, the dogs decided to pick up the squeakiest toy we have. Um, and a bit of a voice break just there, what the hell? Um, but that is those two. They're in here for now. And as I said, eventually we'll be getting outside. So that's them, they're pretty cool. In this tank we have, well we had, they're all running away. We've got a few uh, of the juvenile Cunningham skinks. So they've got this tank, four foot tank, and they are 
or hiding. Basically, this is there's a whole bunch of different bits of wood, and there's obviously a reptile cave. They've got this cave, but bits of basically firewood, which replicates a wood pile, which they'd sort of be living in, or rock piles uh, in the wild as well. So sort of replicating a semi-natural environment, and they obviously all stack up. Two seconds ago, all of them were right there. Now there's just the one left, but they all stack up right on top. I'll include some footage of that. But that is that, and that is them. All right, so we have this enclosure here. What this enclosure is, is my red-eyed green tree frog enclosure. So you can see one there, one there, and there is one up there. So we've got the three of them. This is their enclosure, nothing too special. Um, we have some frog bit growing, some sylvania, um, and just some grasses that are growing with the moss. That's live moss. Um, the other plants, like the bromeliad in this one here, are fake. But that is them, and this is their enclosure. Okay guys, that's going to bring this video to an end. Uh, as I said, some of the animals that weren't filmed in this video will definitely get their own separate videos. Uh, I'm out here with the dogs. The dog's trying to get the squeaky toy I just had to remove off of him. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you do, please smash the like button below. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Instagram. Uh, link is in the We're going to pick up YouTube again. Get into it a bit more. And hopefully we guys can uh, get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're only... What? Like... A couple, a couple, a 50 or so off. I think that's actually a little bit more than that. But we're really, really close. Uh, so hopefully we can get there. I've been really, really inconsistent with videos, as you guys would know. But we're going to pick it up, and we're going to get back into it. And we're going to bring produce some spanging videos. I don't know what's going on. But we're going to do that. Leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see next. As I said, there's going to be some individual reptile videos coming soon. Until then, we'll see you later.